Delta is different in a couple of ways. The most important is that it's more contagious, so it's more easily spread from one person to another. And uh, to give an example in terms of numerical numbers, the original strain of COVID on average infected about 2.5 people from the original source person. This one is more like around four. So you can see it can really become exponentially spread as it goes from one to four to 16 to 64. You see how it can spread very quickly around in a community. Another major difference that we've seen is that the average age of the infected uh, individuals has come way down in the first few months of the uh, pandemic. And then of course, when we had a very, very large surge in uh, the late fall of 2020 into the winter of 21, we were seeing mostly elderly patients. The average age at that time was 80 years old. Now the average age of those hospitalized is closer to 45. And across the state, the uh, average age, of course, is, is also much younger. This is uh, likely a factor of uh, vaccination, as there are much higher rates of vaccination in older individuals, uh, and then there is a much lower rate of vaccination among younger individuals. So you're seeing that uh, difference play out there. In terms of the infection rates in Ohio, uh, we're now, now back over about 2,000 infections per day which had not been seen for probably about six months now. Uh, another factor is that locally, Montgomery County and our surrounding counties are mostly in the red or in the high risk of transmission category. By late June, early July, we had gotten down to really just a handful of COVID-19 patients in our hospitals. And uh, over the last month, uh, that's really gone up by more than a factor of 10, actually. So more than 10 times as many patients in the hospital just over the last month. And we're seeing quite a large number of admissions on a daily basis. That being said, it appears that the length of stay of these patients is shorter. And I think that probably relates to the fact that many of them are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, as opposed to being in their 70s, 80s, or even 90s. Myself and my colleagues at Incident Command are getting quite a few questions around why is Kettering Health mandating the vaccine for employees, healthcare providers, volunteers, vendors? And it really comes down to our mission. If you uh, know about our mission statement, it is to uh, improve the uh, quality of life and the healthcare of the members of the communities which we serve. And there is just uh, no doubt about it scientifically now that these vaccines save a tremendous number of lives. They save uh, morbidity as well. Uh, and they really have uh, manageable side effects. Uh, remember that you know, well over 300 million doses have been given. And so we know a lot about these vaccinations. Uh, they're really much more well studied than almost any medication is by the time that it's released because of the numbers of uh, doses that have been given. So we're, we're quite uh, satisfied that it is a very, very safe vaccine and the benefit is just tremendously outweighing any potential risks of getting vaccinated. Mm -hmm.